guys, what's up? It's Jaden at Miss Jaden B. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe to join the J Bays. So as you guys know, I call my fans and just my supporters and basically all my friends because I consider you guys my friends. You guys are so loving and I love you all. I call them J Bays. And our emoji is the watermelon emoji. So I was like, what DIY can I do that involves watermelons? So I love clothing, I love fashion, as you guys know. So I was thinking, what if we did DIY watermelon shorts? So guess what? Today we are doing DIY watermelon shorts. Woohoo! I'm so excited. I'm going to wear these every single day because I love my J-Ways so much. Before we get into this video, make sure you follow me on all my social medias. They're all at Miss Jaden B. Let's make some DIY shorts. Woo! The materials you will need for this video are some plain white shorts, any type of shorts you want, some thick paper, some paper towels in case it gets messy, green and pink fabric paint. Make sure it's fabric paint if you want the paint to stay on your shorts. Some tape, a fabric marker, and some brushes of your choosing. Let's do it! Also, I have this DIY apron on so I don't get messy. It's basically a garbage bag with three holes in it. Okay, now we can get started. First thing we are going to do, we are going to take our tape and put it around about the middle of the shorts, all the way around. You can also do it a little higher if you want the pink part of the watermelon shorts to be bigger than the green part, which I would like. Make sure to do it all the way around. Perfection. Now we are going to take our thick paper and put them inside of the shorts so the paint does not leak through. Make sure to do multiple sheets because you really want the inside of the shorts to be as white as possible. Perfect. Now we are going to dampen the shorts to get the shorts prepared for painting. Make sure they're not extremely wet, but they're not totally dry. They just have to be moist or damp. So they did not have the exact color green or pink that I wanted, so what I'm gonna do right now is mix a few of my pinks together and a few of my greens together to make the right color that I want. Let's do this. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that's a pretty good pink, so we're gonna stick with that pink. But now the green is a little too green and a little too like dark green, so we have to mix these two together. Okay, so we have the green that I want. What I'm gonna do is paint this section green and this section pink. Let's get started. and feel free to go over the tape. Now what I'm gonna do is I have this stick, and this is only if you want to, I feel like it would help the DIY. I'm going to stick the stick underneath these loops and get under there. There we go. Perfect. Now time for the bottom half, which is going to be pink. Side note, I'm going to leave these fringes white. Depending on what shorts you use, you might not have fringes, but I do, and I'm going to leave them as white as possible. They might get a little pink, but yeah. Also guys, keep in mind, this is a rustic kind of cute DIY, so make sure to know that it does not have to be perfect. Now you repeat the process on the other side. So now I'm going to lift up the sides a little just to make sure that the whole part of the shorts are colored and there's no white spots. 
And now we're going to take our pick again and lift up the hooks and get the paint under there. Now let's do the pink section. And now you are going to let it dry overnight. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, I am back. It is the next day. I let the shorts dry overnight and they are totally dry and super, super cute. And so we are going to continue with the process right now. Let's do it. The first thing we are going to do is take off the tape. The next step, I have some water and I'm going to start with the pink section. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to the pink paint. This makes the paint thinner. Now I'm going to take a new brush because the other brush had a lot of paint on it and we want to start fresh. So just very lightly dip your brush in and go along the edges and make it rough and faded. And these Sponge brushes work very well because you just sponge it on and it gives it a nice faded look. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling towards me and it gives it just the right amount of paint to look like it's faded. Repeat the same process for the green. Add water. Take a new brush and dip it in lightly. Now that you've done the front side, repeat the same process on the back. Okay, now that we're finished with paint, I've put some thick paper inside of the shorts just in case my fabric marker is really, really strong. And what we're going to be doing is we're making little teardrops. I'm going to be making very small versions of those all over the pink part and only the pink part of the shorts. Let's do this. I'm done with the front side. Now all you have to do is repeat the same process on the back. Let's do it. So I finished the same process on the back and took out the paper, and guess what? That means we're done. This was so fun to make, and here's a little montage of me wearing it. OMG, you guys, I am so happy I made these watermelon shorts. I think they're the cutest thing ever, and I'm literally gonna wear them every day. I like to pair them with these watermelon shoes because I think they go perfectly, and I just can't express how much I love these shorts. I think they're perfect for summer or literally any time of the year. Maybe except for winter, lol. <laughs> I just love them so much. watermelon shorts I hope you enjoyed and if you did please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and if you make these shorts make sure to take a photo of them tag me and I might comment like or even give you a BFF you never know please comment if you like this video subscribe to me to join the JBays, and turn on my post notifications I love you guys so much I'll see you next time bye